Meanwhile, agricultural stakeholders have offered assistance to the government to help stop chronic food smuggling in the country that has affected both local production and food prices. In a statement on Tuesday, January 17, John Santos of the Association of Fresh Fish Traders of the Philippines assured that private sector stakeholders are ready to be involved in the enforcement of anti-smuggling laws as they have been facing the issue every day. He added that smuggling normally disappears when the issue is being talked about and returns once it passes. Asis Perez, a former national director of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or BFAR, and a lead convener of agriculture advocacy group Tugon Kabuhayan said the Department of Agriculture or DA is eyeing to file several charges against suspected smugglers this week. Perez expressed support for the institutionalization of Assistant Secretary James Layug's inspectorate and enforcement group in the DA that goes after smuggling for it doesn't include any personnel. He emphasized the immense impact of the continued smuggling of agricultural products on farmers, fisher folk, and Philippine food security, saying the persistent entry of these undocumented products in our country threatens the economy in terms of revenue loss and taxable commodities. Meanwhile, Attorney Elias Jose Inxiong of the United Broiler Racers Association or UBRA noted that the Agriculture and Fisheries Modernization Act of 1997, especially its data and quarantine provisions, must be enforced and a system to implement the law must also be put in place. The Bureau of Customs has seized over 1.2 billion pesos worth of agricultural products smuggled into the country in late December 2022.